hello everyone and today we're going to be doing another special thing. I'm thinking that it's not going to be special anymore because we're doing it a lot now. So anyway, we're going to be painting on things, which is why Brian Mariah Elizabeth, she loves to paint on things. So we're doing that. I'm going to paint on, I'm painting on uh, this box. I've already started like, the like, I guess the base coat and I'm also going to be painting on this rock and the shelf and and last but not least a stick a stick from outside yes I am and my special guest is here again she's not going to be a special guest probably anymore because she's going to be it probably in a lot of my videos now so I guess this is in a special edition. <laughs> anyway. Um, are you going to say what you're painting on? I'm painting on a box that just had a fabric thingy and a pin in it. And this rock that I've already painted on, but I don't like it. It's kind of messy. And this piece of wood that looks like a potato chip. Let's get started in this part. Alright, I, I was just going to say, this part is fast forward. I'm just doing, like, um, the first coat, not the first coat, the second coat on my box. And she's doing um, the third coat on her orange box. Um, yeah. So, basically, we're just doing coats. I'm just going to wait to... Till we actually get into the real stuff. Um, I'm just gonna stop talking until we get to like the actual part. Well, before I do that, um, I think she's on to her like fourth coat. Yeah, fourth coat now. Anyway, um, it's not that exciting, and I don't know why I'm doing another coat, because my box is already blue enough. I'm just going to stop talking until we get to the details. I'm painting the sides. Okay, never mind. The, that last, no, that was definitely not. All right, fine. The last coat was actually her fourth coat, not her third coat. So I got the coats wrong for her orange box. I'm doing something off camera. The shadow's a little bit interesting. I don't know why I painted the bottom of the box. It was such a waste of time because I'm going to set it down. See, like that. And now I can paint the lid. Finally, um, I'm going to have a change of heart very soon, very soon. Um, I think she's done with all the coats on her orange box. Oh, there's my change of heart. I changed it to black from light blue. And now I'm just painting the top black. And she's done with all her orange coats, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, you're... And she's doing her little wood chi wooden chip off camera. The little wooden piece. And she did some orange splotches everywhere on her, her paper bag. And I'm just painting the sides of my box black. Oh, a huge void of darkness is here. Exciting, not really, because it's just paint. Um, ah, I just totally splatted that down. What am I doing? Looks like um, she's still painting her wood chip off camera. Oh, now that purple paint. The reason she did that is because she's theming her box SU themed, and we didn't have any navy blue paint, so she had to make she had to make navy blue paint or use a different color and she didn't want to make it so 
Um, she just used purple. Oh, never mind. The the chip comes afterwards. And I don't know what she was doing off camera, but she was sitting right there. Now she's doing the chip, the wood chip. Um, while the orange paint's drying, so she can do the S in the purple paint. And I don't know what she's doing. All right, she is moving on to the chip. And oh, right as I leave the um, void of darkness there, it's funny. The lighting goes dark. Suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Oh, oh, I'm making a giant green slithering worm. A worm, yes. You probably have caught on. Yes, and it's leaking out, got some random socks. No, you probably know that isn't a worm. That's a vine. A very evenly curved vine. There's a lot of even curves there. A lot. Like, perfectly even. Suspicious, again. And I'm doing the little yellow insides of the flower. Oh, yes, and I accidentally splattered a little bit of black paint on um, one of her orange sides of the box. I'm not sure if it's the top or the bottom. Oh, and those, I just did the yellow um, little circles in the middle of the flowers, the ones that the bees get honey from, that part, and then most people do the flowers like that. I am not teaching anyone. Everyone knows what the middle of the flower is. And she's finished her wood chip. It, and she actually painted it to look like a potato chip. But I'm not sure. She says, um, she, she's not sure if you guys might be able to tell if it's a potato chip or not. But she tried. Um, I just moved on to my purple flower. And then my orange flower. And then you will guess what color is coming next. Because I'm not going in any particular order. For some reason. The next flower color is is blue. Yes, it's blue. And she's just painting the S on her Syracuse themed box. And I'm done with the blue flower and I'm doing more green worms that it will squirt out the back to. No, they're just more vines. Which you already know. They're just more vines. And the room got dark again. That's probably because it's just a really gloomy day out. T today it was just raining all day long. And even when it wasn't raining, everything was wet and it made everything sticky. And I did more flowers in the, util the little yellow circles on the inside of the flower. I don't remember what those are called. I know what it's called, so on the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember. Oh, her foot's in the camera! Like earlier her knee was, and now she's just doing random purple splotches on her paper, and she's still doing the SU sign, and I'm just finishing up my flowers. Oh, she finished the S for her Syracuse theme box, and it looks like I finished my flowers. If you notice, there's two colors of every flower, except there's three um, blue flowers. I meant to do one of those blue flowers orange, so because there's only one orange flower. And she's doing random water drop. I think that's water on her rock. Um. Oh, and the rock is red now. The rock is now red. You'll never guess what it is. I'm not going to tell you until she finishes it, you know. It's a beach ball. You see the stripes of ghosting through? No. Not a beach ball. Did anyone get tricked? Maybe. I don't know. Um. Oh my gosh! I just just did part of my um, stone off camera, and now I'm moving back to the first thing. I'm going backwards. Pastel, you're going backwards, honey. Oh my gosh. You have a lot to learn. You're doing like half your painting off, off camera. And now, she's doing red spots everywhere on her paper for no reason. No reason at all. <laughs> uh, she says she did it because it looks pretty. 
Oh, there, I finally am, like, showing it on camera, my rock. And now I'm putting random globs of paint on. And I'm not sure if you can tell what I'm doing or not. Um, this is the first time I figured out how to do voiceover. Um, because like, or like way in like my first videos, I didn't even know like about editing and if I could like do that or something. And then um, I didn't figure out. I had this editing app, but I didn't do voiceover in any of my videos. Still. Um, hmm, there's not really much that's changing. Oh, uh, she's just having a break. That's why she isn't doing anything onto her Syracuse theme box or her chip or her rock. I was about to say what it was. She's actually lying on the floor, the hard wood floor, taking a break. Even though she could have painted her another item of hers. Like she could have been painting something else inside of the next one. Oh shoot, why do I keep forgetting that? Um she uh did her chip in the middle of letting one of them dry. So actually that's her last item. So never mind. And her finger just popped in. And she's doing another coat of red paint on her rock. And I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Like nothing has changed. And she's doing more spots on the paper. Um, I still haven't changed from whatever I was doing. Oh, wait, I was doing something else off camera. Seriously, I'm doing like half the thing off camera. Really, you have a lot to learn, past self. Oh, I just put it in the camera. Um, moving in with some black paint. Yeah. Well, she just moved in with black light, not me. Her foot's still in, out, oh, and her knee just popped in for like one second. And she's doing something. And now she's painting random black stuff all over her mat. Interesting. And she's doing more black stuff. I don't know. Well, um, she said that she needs to do that to, like, put down the block or something. I can't really tell. Can you say that? Just that part? I was trying to do that to shade the black down a little so it's not so dark and dense. That wasn't really going to do anything. Just, like, put it on there. And that green is going to be the leaf. Oh, your head is in there. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. People are going to come because they know she has a head and a foot and a knee. Well, most people have a head and a foot and a knee. So, that's interesting. I don't know. Um, that's not really going to be a lead to anything. But they're going to cover us. They know she has hair. And I finished my shell. It's supposed to be planets and stars, but I'm not sure really if that's shining through at all. Um, oh, yes, I'm transferring it onto something else so you don't have to see this dirty paper bag covered in paint gloss. And right about at this time, we're rinsing paintbrushes and paint palettes. <laughs> oh, yes, and wasting time washing paint palettes when we could have just been finishing this video. I just dropped the tablet for the second time in 30 seconds. Oh, and we transferred it everything on to, I mean, transferred. I said transferred it. That's not a word. Um, anyway, we just transferred them onto pieces of paper. So you didn't have to see the bags anymore. I mean, we're just cleaning up everything, and soon we'll be done. 
Oh, and I'm going to stop now because it's over. I haven't like rearranged it, so both of our things are in the camera yet. So I just need to see. Uh, all right, everyone. We finished painting all our stuff, and we're ready to show all of them to you. So first stop, I didn't get to the stick before I do that. I did this box. I painted flowers on it. The sides are just um, yellowish, blackish. I'm not really sure if you can see. And the bottom's green, which I can't really show you right there. So that is that. The next one is this tie dye ish, abstract ish stone. I really like it, honestly. Uh, we need better light in here now. Uh, anyway, now you can see there. Um, my tie dye ish abstract -y stone. And since you may have not been able to really get a good look at the box and the lighting, here's the box again. Put the flowers on it. And the last thing I made was kind of just fast. I know it's not really good. But it's okay. It's like a planet and stars in space. And I'm not really sure if you can tell what it's but It's just a very quick thing. And now you can move on to share what you made. I've made... This is my box. It's Syracuse themed. The other side I didn't do anything to. It just, well, orange and... I just thought since the orange and there was purple and it reminded me of navy blue, I could do it Syracuse themed. And and I like Syracuse. It's just Syracuse, and I like the colors. Yep. So here's the box. It's kind of like a sandwich. And this was kind of just a quickie wood thing. I tried to make it into a potato chip. It's not really orange that you see it orange. It's pretty much all yellow, but a little bit of orange. And it was more yellow on the sides than what you can see now. Kind of looks green on the side but from where we are, but it's just that. Anyway. I tried to make a potato chip. Anyway, moving along. Um, well. This is hard to pick up. Oh, here we go. That's just amazing. I got this. I tried to make a cherry, and here's the stem. It kind of goes back there. I didn't get to paint the other side. And I tried making some shading, but it kind of just like looks like a black dent right there to you. So I tried making a cherry, but that's how it turned out. All right, moving along again. This is the end of the video, so I'm not really moving.